Well, uh, since you're familiar with the control room at Fox 8, we're in the control room here at the USS Con. Now, we're going to go rigged for red. Is that right, Paul? Rigged for red. Rigged for red. Now, Jimmy's going to knock his light off. So when the, when the ship was in this state of affairs, what was happening? Well, we uh, rig the boat for red light when we're running on the surface at night. Okay. The red light has the effect of dilating our pupils so that the crew going topside as lookouts, they uh, their eyes are acclimated to the darkness gotcha. immediately. And what's Jimmy looking at here? Well, he's looking at the thing that makes uh, a submarine unique. It's the uh, high-pressure air bank that brings the sub to the surface. All ships go underwater, right. but only a submarine can surface. And that's what, and without these, the submarine would be a sunken ship. That's right. So the air gets pushed out. Well, there's ballast tanks that mm -hmm. are, when we're submerged, are flooded with seawater mm -hmm. uh, to surface. We close the upper uh, vent valves and we blow air into the ballast tanks to force the water out the openings on the bottom, and up comes the boat. That's what I meant. The air was pushed in when the water was right. pushed out. And then over here, what are we seeing here? Paul? Well, we got a Christmas. Well, the auxiliary helm or steering wheel right, right here. forward. Okay. We can steer from here, but most of the time we're steering from the attack center above. Mm -hmm. And over here in the uh, forward port quarter is the Christmas tree. Okay. Red, green lights. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, if we're buttoned up, ready to dive safely. We have to have right a green here. board. Okay. And we get a green board, we're going to pull back on the levers below the Christmas tree. That right brings here. the cod underwater. Okay. So, excellent. And then behind us, you're really proud of uh, what we're seeing here. Well, we recently restored the diving station uh, based on World War II photos. Uh, the bow and stern plane controls uh, control the angle of the right dive. Right here, yeah, that are right here. And, and our then... deep water gauge behind me, when the cod was brought to Cleveland in 1959, uh, the Navy felt that was still a little secret, so that was removed. Uh, we located it and uh, put it back. Okay. Hopefully, we're not going to give away any state secrets. Oh. <laughs> Gato-class boats can go 450 feet deep. Right. Excellent. And then, Jimmy, put us back in a rig for red mode with the light. All right. So um, how many crew members would be in this space we're looking at right now? About eight men down here to, really? uh, to, to handle this. Of course, 11 men up in the attack center during a submerged attack. And what's interesting, and you said 77 to about 90-ish crew members. On. Had, our biggest crew was 97 men. And uh, during that patrol, the final patrol of the war, mm -hmm. uh, we picked up 55 Dutch submariners for three wow. days. So that was that. crowded. And tours uh, for the COD as we wrap up? Every day, 10 to 5, until the tugboat shows up. So uh, we're gate funded. So please, Clevelanders, help support your National Historic Landmark submarine. Come on down, bring the family for a tour. Thank you, Paul. This has been great. We are rigged for red in the control room of the USS Cod Submarine. I'm just happy I made it out of that torpedo tube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>